Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's some comic reviews for you. We got Uncanny Avengers, some Thor, Nova, New Avengers, and Batman Eternal. Let's start with New Avengers. Now, there's been some craziness that's been going on in the Avenger world, and this pretty much continues its own craziness. Uh, what we have is the Vision, I mean, sorry, uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver learn that Magneto, Magneto might not be th their father, so they go looking for answers. And they're basically looking for the high evolutionary. Now, they're in counter-Earth right now, and then they're tr trying to dig deeper into that. While that's going on, the rest of the Uncanny Avengers are looking for them. And, you know, while I was really enjoying this, it's kind of really weird seeing Sabretooth, like, declawed and neutered. I mean, like, he's using this, like, they're, the way he's talking, he's like, anywho, sent goes dead here. And I'm, like, going, anywho, like... When did Sabretooth start talking like anywho? I mean, next year we're going to be hearing him say, Oakley Doakley. You know, I'm like, come on. I mean, it kind of, all right, it did make me laugh when I read that part. And there's a couple other parts, too, where Sabretooth just does not sound like Sabretooth. Even though I know he's, you know, feeling remorseful and for all the harm he's caused everybody, you know, because of the axis. But, um, anyways, I thought the rogue part was at the very beginning was really good because... You know, she's got Simon inside of her and, you know, the mind and that kind of the way they talk about all like trying to catch up everybody up to speed. So I thought all that part was good. And um, well, eventually, of course, what has to happen is when the Avengers go to try to get to where the uh, twins are. Things go awry and they get separated and there are all sorts of different worlds. But um, I, I really enjoyed it. It's it's different though. I can tell you it's different, but I enjoyed it. Art, the art's different too, like, you know, but it, it fits. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the remaining of this storyline, just because it's it's an Avenger title that just doesn't feel like Avengers, and but it's still so well written that you just can't help but like it. All right, Thor. I really love this issue. Uh, I love the banter between the two Thors. The art is fantastic. Um, they're just like duking it out because, you know, male Thor wants his hammer and female Thor's like F you. And then the Storm Giants are just kind of, or Frost Giants, I mean, are just like they're watching it. And overall, this is great. And of course, they settle the answer is that Thor's mom. And, you know, with a kiss like that, Thor's like, I really hope that's not my mom. But I really enjoyed it. Um, they, Thor seems to have calmed down a little bit by the end of this issue. And um, Aaron's been hitting a home run almost every issue. It, again, it's criminal that this is not a top ten book. Nova. I don't really want to talk too much about Nova. I mean, the art was good. The fight between Nova and Carnage was entertaining. So for that, you know, I thought this was a solid entertaining book it don't expect greatness out of it but it had some good moments with it and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the next issue since Carnage tracked Sam down to his school Avengers lots of things happen in this issue here the I like the art but the art looks a little awkward at times the my main problem with this book is continuity it basically, what it tries to do is, continuity has been a serious issue uh, the past few uh, months here now, and they're trying to catch everybody up to speed by giving you little pieces along the way. Um, there's also other problem where they reads like, well, we tried various things and we spoke to Galactus, and uh, Galactus isn't part of your universe any longer, so I don't know how you talk to him. Um, beyond that, Reed, it looks like, did try to use his son to co to solve the problem. Son's dead, Franklin. At least that's what it looked like. Um, then you have Molecule Man and Thor. I mean, Doctor Doom doing their exploration. Now this, all of this part's all well and good. It's the end, the end that matters. Basically, what happens is Reed finally comes out and says, "Well, I sent Hank Pym on a special mission." And that special mission will pretty much surprise people. And maybe not surprise, but um, it's definitely going to lead us 
most likely towards Secret Wars. So I'm really, really curious to see how everything's going to play out. And uh, for all of its little minor problems along the way, I still enjoyed it. But this is not like a book of the week or anything like that. But um, it's, um, it's definitely winding down. Things are moving. Okay, Batman Eternal. Well, we get some twists and some turns. We get to deal with Clue uh, spoiler a little bit. And we get with what I'm going to call the Penguin Catwoman, or Woody Woodpecker Catwoman, because her nose is like insanely long and pointed. It's like the guy used um, right angles to uh, make her nose. But um, overall, I mean, see, part of my problem is while I enjoyed parts of this story, where it's like going, okay, it's not the worst, but it's not the best, but I'm enjoying it. It just completely ruins it because they try to throw this surprise shit at you at the end. And it's like, you know, obviously, you know, things aren't the way they are. But yet they have to put that in there. So people go, oh, my God. I mean, and that's the same thing with the other Batman book. And I'm like, how about just just tell us the story. Don't try to trick us. Yeah, you because know, sometimes trying to trick us doesn't, you know, it doesn't always like isn't the best option. Just tell us nice, strong, cohesive story. And especially when what she's spoiler is telling us can't be exactly as she's saying it. Because if that was the case, then we don't know who Batman really is after all then, don't we? But anyways, um, it's if you like pointy-nosed women, you'll love this issue. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Like, share. Um, I do a podcast with Cons, Freaks, and Geeks, and I'll have the link down below. If you have any other comments or questions, put it down below. Let me know what you like this week, what books did you think were good, and or books that you just hated, and um, we'll have more stuff later. So until next time.